Hello? Okay, so first up, before I begin, I just want to say a big thank you to Funke um, for bringing me up on this stage. I am really, really excited to be sharing tidbits. I know some of us are not so familiar with some of the concepts I'm going to be talking about, but that's the reason why I'm here. And also a big shout out to Aja. I feel like she left this huge presence or this huge space for me to feel. So please, you know, you know, you can try to like encourage me, but please a big shout out to Aja once again. So I made some slides, and I'm hoping that the slides would make the session more interactive. But before I go on, how many of us are familiar with AI? And I'm not talking about Snapchat filters. I'm not talking about Instagram filters. How many of us are familiar with AI? I'm here in chat GPT. Any other? Canva. I love that. Meta AI. Now, also, we are... Love that, love that, love that, love that. We are in a room filled with amazing women. Also, you all are so well dressed. Like, I'm seeing really different fashion, um, this thing, inspirations. I'm definitely going to steal after this. But how many of us, as women, always feel this um, body of stress of having to combine, juggle your life either as a 95er and as a creative, and also trying to keep up with social media because people tell you like, oh, you have to put your work out there. If your work is not out there, you know, you're not going to sell yourself. You're not going to get that strategic, um, this thing present. You're not going to put yourself as a thought leader and all of those things. How many of us ever feel overburdened with that? And how many of us have ever tried to utilize AI for any of our processes as creatives? I love that. Now, how many of us have not, but are eager to? Very little hands. We don't have to be shy. I'm here to share knowledge, and I'm really hoping that after this, you know, it will inspire so many of us too. Now, this is our creative struggle. I'm also a creative, but I know not as professional as some of you. You know, you feel overwhelmed with juggling multiple creative um, tasks. And as Nigerian women, not just Nigerian creative, but as Nigerian women, you have to combine family, you have to combine work, you have to combine life as a whole. You also have to combine your health as well. And then there's too much time you spend in editing. How many of us make content and then after a while you're like, how do I edit this thing? <laughs> You know, you have an entire drive with your content, and you're like, when am I going to edit this thing, right? We face that, I know. And then you struggle with social media content creation. Some days, your mind is just blank. What exactly am I going to post today? You're looking at your life, and it is running with ideas, but you're not sure what exactly your audience wants, right? Awesome. But if I tell you that AI can actually help you save time, would you believe that? If I tell you it can save time, would you not believe that? How many of you doubt that? Good, we're going. Now, if I also tell you that AI can actually help you create better and earn more, would you believe that? Yeah. Now, there was something where Jay was saying as to how when you're going into music, you know, always have like an IP lawyer. What if I tell you that ChatGPT can help you analyze your contracts? How many of you are aware of that? How many of you are not aware of that? You know you can upload a document. I'm giving an ex a very random example. If you can't, not everybody can afford a lawyer. Not everybody can afford a really good lawyer. But you know you can utilize AI in coming up with those contracts or in helping analyze. You can tell ChatGPT, you upload a contract and tell ChatGPT, analyze this contract for me. Tell me how it serves me. Or if you're the person who is giving the contract, tell me how this contract serves the person who's going to be receiving it. And it would analyze every single thing. Tell you the loopholes, tell you the right things. How many of you have tried things like that? If after this session you have something similar to that, I would love to encourage you to try something like that. Now, this is me. I'm, not just, I'm just going to rush through all of this. Like they had already mentioned, I am the executive director of Shikoda Africa. I'm really, really keen on seeing more women get into technology. So if this is something that you're interested in, I'm more than happy to. I am also a board member focused on AI. It's a US board that's focused on driving policy for the AI um, this thing, industry. So why does AI actually matter for Nigerian creatives? Across the world, there are so many persons, creatives, 
around the world globally who are already utilizing artificial intelligence. But one thing that's very unfortunate for us as Nigerians, now it's not our fault, but we have this tendency to always fall behind when it comes to anything creativity, anything technology, anything digital innovation. I don't want to use the big, big words, but that is the unfortunate reality. Now, if you have watched Netflix recently, Right, and maybe you're trying to watch something that is not, the original language is not in English. If you've watched Netflix recently, Netflix now utilizes AI to make sure that when you're watching a movie that the original language is not in, um, this in English, the words, the actors move synchronously with the same words that are being um, translated, right? What this simply means is, as Nigerians, we cannot afford to be on the back seat. We cannot afford to take the back seat and things like this. AI is definitely revolutionizing creative industries globally. And we have already put our name out there as, in terms of the creative space, Nigerians know they carry last. So we can definitely not afford to take last in this. You can utilize AI in so many ways, but these are just some of the um, three items that I have listed out here. You can utilize it in automating your repetitive tax. Tax like things around um, publishing your content, things around coming up with your content ideas, things around, you know, also enhancing your creative input. If you don't have any idea what you want your content, content structure to look like, or you don't have any idea how you want your script writing to look like, AI is actually there to help you. Another thing is to increase your efficiency. When you have those um, productivity tools, when you have these AI platforms that you can utilize, this way you're no longer focused on doing multiple things at the same time. You're not focused on the main important things. Okay. Now, these are common myths that I have seen a lot of people talk about when they hear about AI. Oh, artificial intelligence, oh, it's going to take my job, it's going to replace me. Can you see the LOL there? That's a very loud lol. When people say, oh, AI is going to replace creatives, like, that's actually a big, fat lie. That's never going to happen, right? Now, the truth is, what artificial intelligence will do is it will continuously provide inspiration. But artificial intelligence is literally, right, let me quickly explain as simple as I can. Artificial intelligence is literally data, it's like a small brain, right, that you're feeding data, and this data is gotten from us as humans. So for artificial intelligence to actually work, it still needs us as humans to create that inspiration, and it lacks the human emotion. Nothing can actually replace us as humans. So that's one thing that if you don't leave anything in my session today, I want you to always remember that AI is actually here to help me. It's not here to take my job, right? It doesn't lack, it lacks this in human emotion, it lacks storytelling, and it lacks originality. That's another thing. So see it as a tool and not a competition. Now, another thing is, oh, AI is only for those in tech. Well, it's partly right in the sense that the people in tech are the ones who pioneer it. But we create these solutions, these platforms for persons like you to actually use, right? So there are numerous AI tools that are out there that are useful in different fields. I'm going to show some, exa some examples. You can use them in different, um, this thing, different fields and in different ways. Now, for example, in film and video production, before AI, you spend hours editing, color grading, finding music, and doing all of those things. But I'm going to also mention some AI platforms that I'd love for you to explore after this particular session. You have um, AI platforms like Runway Machine Learning. You have AI platforms like Descript. You have AI platforms like Pika Labs. This is beginning to sound like a developer session, but please bear with me. Now, what some of these things do is they help you automate your video enhancements, right? Another thing is in digital content creation, this is, I think this is like my favorite part, because like I said, I also do like content, even though it might not be as way major as some of you. But before AI, you spend hours brainstorming. You spend hours designing, coming up with your, maybe like the cover photo, coming up with the background. You know with AI now, you can have like virtual backgrounds. You can have fake backgrounds and all of that. You, you still spend hours trying Trying to edit, for you know, the entire day is gone. But with things like Canva AI, most of these platforms already use them, and they have started implementing AI into it because AI is literally the future of the world. You have things like Canva AI, you have CapCut AI, you also have ChatGPT, right? All of these things they can help you auto generate designs. You have um, one thing that Watson mentioned. I don't. Um, in the movie industry, right, you see people utilizing artificial intelligence to act out an entire movie. 
on its own, right? So AI is very helpful in coming up with your content ideas. It's very helpful in coming up with your schedule. All you can simply do is, for example, if you want to use ChatGPT, you call on ChatGPT, oh, this is who my audience is. I am so-so-and-so in so-so-and-so niche. This is the type of videos that I like to do. Can you come up with a one-week schedule? You can even try it right now on your phone. Can you come up with a one-week schedule helping me if whatever your goal is, and I promise you, you'll see ChatGPT list out all of those things, right? With Canva AI, you can generate images. If you're trying to create stock photos, for example, for your product, for your platform, whatever it is, all of that is on there. It can also help you with audience retention strategies. Now, in fashion design, before AI, there's the manual sketching. People still do this, right? But with AI, you have all of these platforms, Bing, Think X. It helps you create like virtual fashion designs, you know, trend forecasting. That trend forecast is actually very important because as individuals, we are very we move on very fast, or what's the next big thing, right? So AI can actually help you predict the future, and it helps you see all those things and start to work towards it. Now, another thing is in music and sound production, you know, you spend long hours, you're mixing, you're mastering music, but with these platforms, you can actually generate AI beats and then move on with fast, and move on with things real fast. In writing and storytelling, this is also another important part, but I feel like this is one part that a lot of people have um, overused and used to the point where you know, it's beginning to lack some creativity, but I would like to encourage us to continue to maintain our creative balance on this. So before AI, you have things around like creative, um, creative block, writer's block, slow editing. Again, you have platforms like ChatGPT. You have platforms like Sudorites. Right? All of these can help you generate script ideas, content ideas, story ideas, and help you also in editing and things like this. Now, I wasn't expecting this screen to be this big, but I hope you can see. I just tried as much as possible to collate everything. Um, in video, you have Runway ML, we have Descript. In content, you have Canva AI. Many of you know all of this. You have CapCut AI. In fashion, you have Claude, you have Bing Thicks. Um, in music, you have Lander, you have Boomi. And in content writing, you have ChatGPT and you have StudioWrite. Once again, ChatGPT can be utilized in so many ways. If your only access right now is with ChatGPT, that's absolutely fine. And I know that on platforms like Snapchat, you have Snapchat AI, you have Meta AI, although they are not as advanced as platforms like ChatGPT, you can actually utilize it in using all of these things. Again, one thing that you have to see AI as is it's actually an assistant. And whatever you tell it to do, it will do. What you need to work on is being creative with your prompts. Your prompts is basically you commanding it, do this, do that, right? So imagine if you want to prepare soup, for example. I know we have content creators like Ify, who does amazing in the kitchen. Say, for example, you want to prepare, um, I want you to think, imagine, create like an imagination around this. You want to cook soup, for example. You have to tell it to maybe, for example, cut your vegetables, slice your okra, and then put it in this format, put it in that format. That's literally the same thing you do when it comes to AI. So your platform, you're not actually limited with that. Now, how can artificial intelligence help you earn more? Because again, it's not... Um, the only thing you don't want to do is create content, create content, create content. At the end of the day, you also want to make more money, right? Now, the first thing is it, you can, it can help you sell AI-enhanced services. You know, your edited videos, your generated fashion con um, concepts, your content schedule. I'm very keen on, around the content part, again, because I have interest in this. You can come up with a template, that thing that you're normally doing every single time that you're repeating, and you can create that into an actual template that ChatGPT would help you put out there and sell. Now, another thing is you can ask ChatGPT, this is what I do. I'm using ChatGPT because it's very, very popular. Everybody has access to it. You can ask ChatGPT, I do X. XYZ in fashion, how can I make money from this? And it would list out multiple ideas. Again, if you don't have the money to maybe consult with a business person or a financial advisor, AI is there for you. Now, I'm not saying use AI to replace all of these persons, but it actually helps you give, get like a better understanding of things like this. Another thing is, you know, it helps you create um, this thing, products that you can actually sell out, like I mentioned, templates, packages. It would also help you freelance more efficiently. Say, for example, you're a social media manager, right? You're managing multiple platforms. Now with AI tools, you can automate all of these platforms, and it would help you have more time to actually get more clients. Before that, you actually have to hire multiple persons to handle all of these things. You can utilize AI platforms to cut costing, things like that. 
So, before I wrap up, I don't know how many minutes I have, but before I wrap up, I want you to always remember this thing. First and foremost, AI is never going to take your job as a creative, right? Like I mentioned at the start of this conversation, artificial intelligence lacks human emotion. It lacks the critical thinking skills. Whatever you tell it is what it's going to do. So it's in tech, we call it the input and output. If you put in garbage, it's going to give you garbage as that as well. So remember that it will never take your job, but it is going to replace those who do not use it. So the only time you should be worried about in when we're having digital revolution, meaning when the world is going fast and you're still stuck in that particular point it is, at a point in time, it is definitely going to replace you because your skills are no longer going to be needed. So while leaving this very venue, what I want you to always remember is how can I utilize artificial intelligence to help me improve in whatever creative thing I am doing? Remember, it is there as your tool and not a competitor. Another thing is, like I said, it's not going to replace your human creativity. It will never, ever, ever, because it doesn't have interaction with humans. It doesn't have the day-to-day -day interaction. Maybe you meet somebody on the, on the road. Maybe you meet like a roadside seller in have that conversation. A artificial intelligence can never do that, right? And again, for me personally, I'm very big on this. We need more African women representation in artificial intelligence. Now, I'll give an example. When you ask an AI platform or an AI tool to come up with black women doing X, Y, Z, and then you compare it with saying, come up with um, white women doing X, Y, Z, the contrast is very glaring. We need more women like you to be able to put in your inputs. The more you feed in data of whatever it is that you're doing, the more this artificial intelligence actually stores it in. So that when somebody in the US, when somebody in France is asking Nigerian women doing X, Y, Z, it collates this data that you have imputed and is able to show them out there the same thing. Now, lastly, like I mentioned, artificial intelligence is your assistant. It is not your competition. So after today, I want you to take an experiment. Whether you have tried out artificial intelligence or not, with those tools that I had mentioned, pick one AI tool. Now test it out this week. Automate one repetitive task that you're always doing every single day. That task that you know that you do it at least once every single day. Take a tool and try to automate it with that task and see how you can improve your process. So that thing that you probably spend one hour, two hours, three hours every single day doing, try to find a tool that would help you spend 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes doing it. Now also, please, I know that, yes, everybody loves filter. There's filter on literally every app right now. There's filter on TikTok. There's filter on Snapchat. There's filter on Facebook. There's filter everywhere. But as Nigerian creatives, I want us to move from just trivial usage. Because, like I said, we always have this tendency to lag behind whenever there's anything innovation. Before you see anything in Nigeria, it takes like a very long time. So please try as much as possible to move from trivial use. You can continue to use it for your filters, for your gimmicks, and all of that. But actually start using it to make more money for yourself. Start using it to become more creative, to become more productive, you know, in boosting your efficiency and your income as well. Okay, I think I've come to the end. But before I wrap up, thank you, before I wrap up, I'd like to say that, again, remember, the smartest people are the ones who are actually utilizing tools and platforms that the rest of the world is onto. So as you're leaving this place, remember, artificial intelligence is not my competitor. Artificial intelligence is my assistant, and I am about to put it out there to you. So thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>